Now, Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Homecoming for SIU football, and what an opportunity for the Salukis hosting the number one ranked team in the country, South Dakota State. Let's get you to some of the highlights. A packed house for this one. I had one fan who told me he's been coming to Saluki football games for over 60 years tell me he has never seen a crowd quite like we saw today. And out of the gate, it was a defensive battle back and forth in the first half. Dogs holding the Jackrabbits in touch, but then going deep is Nick Baker trying to get something going on offense, and the Jackrabbits come up with a pick on defense, and it led to a touchdown before the half. 7-0 South Dakota State going into the break. Head coach Nick Hill not too pleased with that in coming out in the third quarter. South Dakota State got their offense going right down the field. 14-zip number one team in the country, but here comes SIU in the red zone. They finally have a drive going, but Nick Baker gets sacked and the ball comes out. South Dakota State recovers. They're fired up. Baker cannot believe it, but finally a stroke of luck. Something going the Saluki's way. An interception in the end zone. What a play for the dogs on defense. They were flying around all game long, and it led to this touchdown. Baker deep. Deontay Cox, yes, sir. We got a one-score ball game, 14-7. to seven. And the Salukis still weren't done. They'd get a field goal to make it one possession. They needed an onside kick. Oh, but with 30 seconds left, it goes out of bounds. That's a wrap. South Dakota State gets the win, 17-10, to 10, the final tough break for the Salukis. We just had press conference here as well where I'm standing, so we'll make sure we update you on how that went tonight on Heartland Sports. SEMO football gets a big win today, though, 28-3, I should say, over Tennessee Tech. First play of the game, Paxton DeLorean hit Ryan Florna in a huge touchdown. We'll have some highlights of that later as well. We also had some really big softball today. Three state quarterfinals in our area getting to host Jackson, one of them, taking on Francis Howell. The Indians had 30 wins on the year. They came in with all sorts of momentum. Ashlyn Dawes in the circle, pitched a gem, only held the... Vikings to three runs on the board. The defense doing a great job as well, but the offense, it just seemed like every time they had an opportunity for some runs, the Vikings defense came up in a big way. You saw the single to get on base, and after a steal, they had a runner on second. Later in the game, Dawes helping herself out, sends one out to right center for a double. They had second and third with two outs, but Francis Howell found a way to get out of the inning. 3-1 the final score. A great season for Jack Jackson comes to an end and elsewhere in those other two games I mentioned in class four Notre Dame falls 13 to zero to Washington what a run for the Bulldogs after taking down a pair of top 10 schools in the state on their way to a district championship but a magical season for Chaffee is rolling on Red Devils beat Iberia 8-7 to earn a spot at state's class two final four inbound for the Red Devils how about that and guess what? We still weren't done. We had some volleyball district championships coming up as well. We had three champs, Jackson, St. Vincent, Valley Catholic, and Scott City all getting wins. They're district champs. What a day for sports in the heartland. More tonight at 10.